United States Army presents The Big Picture, an official report produced for the armed forces and the American people. Fort Riley, Kansas, headquarters of aggressor, an imaginary enemy used in training United States troops. Here, armed forces of the fictitious enemy country receive unique and thorough orientation. This speech in Esperanto, the language of aggressor, is part of the Aggressor Center's training program in developing the concept of a maneuver enemy. These U.S. soldiers are acting as troops of the mythical enemy aggressor nation. They have their own complete military organization. Their purpose is to act in field exercises as an opposing army against which regular U.S. troops can test their combat training. All U.S. troops are oriented on aggressor armed forces, equipment, history, and basic characteristics, just as if they were entering combat against an actual enemy. The aggressor soldier is provided with identification documents in the Esperanto language. was successful in the center, but his victory was not as complete as he thought. On the flanks, the American lines held and even managed to take a few aggressor prisoners. The prisoners were taken immediately to the nearest command post where a U.S. interrogating officer was ready to go to work on them in their own language. He's a sergeant major from the Fusilier Division, sir. Q Roto, Sargento. Roto 3? He's from Company 3. That's supposed to be their reserve. Well, that may be an outfit that we got that aerial photo of this morning. STCTO, Roto 3? Where are you? Where are you? Looks like they've committed a reserve, sir. From the information gathered from aerial photos and the interrogation of aggressor prisoners, the American commanding officer decides a flanking counterattack would succeed. <laughs> 